Hello everybody, this is SV and in today's video we will learn additional options from Cloner and Text Animation. So let's check what we will have finally. Ok, so let's start. First of all, we will create a spline text. Push here, go to text. Align middle font. You, you can make uh, any font what you like, but I prefer some thin font. For example, I will use in beginning like this. Okay. Number three, we'll, we will start from three. To receive some sound, we will go to the MoGraph, Effector and Sound Options. Here we have download some sound I already created before. Three, two, one, go. No. Ok, check. Ok, it will be approximately 150 frames. Very nice. Ok, let's start with animation of our text. We are going to frame number 10. Ok, I am make disengage sound. We are going to frame number 10 and push frame K here then we are going to frame number 32 change to number 2 and set frame K then we are going to frame number 55 push to 1 and frame K we are going to frame number 80 right go and save. What we have finally? Check. Ok, very nice. Very nice coming. What we will do now? We are going to our objects. We will create few objects. For example, cube. We will do like in my video, yeah? Cube. We will use Willet for 1 cm. We create sphere. 5 cm and segments we can make less, I don't know, 18 for example, yeah? We are add some capsule, I don't know, 3, maybe 2, and maybe 12, ok, very nice, we will do 3 and 13, very nice. Also we create some tors decrease radius and some inside segments I don't know we will make a 5 radius here yeah. ok radius 5 and 2 also we can decrease our segments it's not necessary to make more approximately 18 ok very nice we have some 4 object now we are going to the MoGraph and create cloner all our objects we put inside to the cloner then we're going to the cloner and in mod options we will go to the object in object window we will drag and drop our text file like this you can see our objects start on the face of this number of the of the text yeah okay going to settings of the text first of all we will push step and decrease approximately 8 you see we have too much yeah if we go in forward very nice okay what we will do now 
we make animation for our mograph uh, for our cloner yes mograph cloner uh, we will use our offset and our end what is mean offset offset is moving moving of the number of the all objects around our uh, spline we will go to zero and frame number zero we will push like this then we are going to the approximately 220 and we will put 10 what we will have finally let's check everything moving this looks like very natural yeah okay then we're going to the end what is mean if you see it's coming 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 slowly yes we will go in beginning we will use our frame number five and push zero then we're going to the frame number 10 and make 100 finally we will have like this okay very good what we will do now for cloner object we will use our tag simulation tag rigid body what the settings for this first we are going to the collision in theory tag we will use apply tag to children and individual elements we will use all elements bounds we no need absolutely we will put zero friction we will make approximately 100 and collision and noise also i use zero then we are going to dynamic uh, okay here is nothing change and we are going to the mass uh, nothing change force follow position we will put 25 and follow rotation we will use 25 what we will have check please okay nice animation now we are put text a little bit higher approximately like this and last one for frame 100 for our dynamic tag we'll put keyframe here and 101 we'll push 0 and 0 what will be check okay from frame number 101 our uh, object which is inside in the cloner uh, finish it follow position and rotation of this spline in this reason is dropping down okay we are going to objects and create a plane we will use i don't know big plane maybe 10,000 centimeters for 10,000 centimeters segments minimum and for this plane we will create also simulation tag collider body for our collision we take out bounce and we will make approximately 100 uh, friction and zero noise uh, dynamic in beginning we not use any dynamic on frame number 100 no dynamic frame number 100 one we will use enable our dynamic uh, for what we need it just to avoid any calculation and loading of our memory before we need this plane what we will have now okay it's dropping down very nice animation animation done now we will work with our camera we are create any camera just single camera push this button it's mean we are making now uh, viewing through the camera and 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 we will do some animation okay uh, okay first of all render settings yeah i will use 100 1280 up to up to up to up to like this will be will be okay will be okay so save i will use png files and i will save in my folders it is already saved some yes but i will use same folder okay very nice maybe i will use additional folder i will create and you save here very nice uh, 
For our render, I will use a Redshift render engine. Redshift. In Redshift settings, here I will put 16. In integration, I will disable default light. In the system, I'm going to bucket rendering and make here 256 and spiral order. Very nice. All other I will use without... Okay, motion, motion blur. We can enable motion blur and additional sampling. Additional sampling I will use for reflection. I will use, I don't know, 64. And additional for lights. I will use uh, 64 else. Very good. Now we are going to camera settings. Okay. Frame number 10. Frame number 10. I like this. Camera settings. I will put, okay, here we will put 0. Here we will put 0. Here we will put 13. Like this, okay. Like this and like this. Same we will use for our frame number 37 very good frame number 60 very nice and frame number 85 85 okay now we are make a minus 5 frame going back and little bit turn little bit maybe 5 degrees maximum okay then we are going frame to 60 minus 5 frames go back oh, sorry i disable sound okay go back little bit turn maybe again 5 and make a frame 37 minus 5 32 go back little bit change angle and keyframe go to number 0 back and little bit change angle very nice what we have check very cool from this area we will also use a camera moving frame number 100 0 frame number 115 push down like this very nice check again three two one go very nice okay going to material settings i use material set material from redshift standard material going inside this is not a tutorial for redshift material it's mean i will do some operation very fast without any explanation default color uh, green and roundness for reflection i don't know zero one it will be enough copy of this make i don't know maybe yellow will be nice copy of this maybe red or violet we will change little bit very nice and one more time from this we take out color weights of the color will be zero and add little bit roundness this is will be for example five okay this material we use for our plane and this material we will use for our object which, which is a child of cloner green i don't know will be sphere violet will be cube or purple and yellow will be i don't know torus for capsula we will use a uh, lights how we will do it okay i forget something we're going to the cloner to the object and into rate we will put random you see yes what what is the change okay we are going to redshift light and use area light going to settings of air light 
and push mesh area light we will drop down like a child of capsule and inside in the mesh windows we will drop and drag our capsule unit type radian power i use usually radian power make 170 and intensivity 100 okay very good what we will have going to back make some small animation like this and try to render okay what i have now yes uh, i cannot see my uh, capsules because on the area light settings i'm not enable visible and be bi directional look i push this and i push this and render again yeah okay now i see capsule now i see some lights coming some shadows coming and looks like very nice okay uh i'm stop for a moment we no need anymore now we are going to the final preparation camera i will use camera of redshift camera and going to bokken and use enable going to explosion enable and Vignetting, Vignetting, I will use 8. I'll use 8. Okay, very nice. And for camera, for focus distance, for focus distance, focus object, I drag and drop my text. It means our focus distance will be all time automatically. It, uh, it doesn't matter how is camera moving, uh, my text will be all time in the focus. Okay, and last one, uh, we double check. It's good, it's good. Uh, motion switch on, very nice. And start render. I push this button and going some render. Okay, but my render is already finished. My render is mean now I'm going to After Effects. Inside After Effects, I download my renders. drop down to create new composition and what I add yeah you see my first render was without angel movement of camera yes no any toning like this maybe you have something other okay uh, I add some sorry I add some sounds inside 3 to 1 which is I uh, download before some debris crash and some atmospheric mystical to make some atmospheric sound like a background okay uh, inside an in adjustment layer I add two effects first of all this is glitch and second of all this is magic bullet looks glitch if I open my 3 2 1 sound I have like I sp especially make like this you see two, 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 like this yes in this area is just like like a fun yeah i make some glitch if you can see you okay here is glitch disable glitch enable glitch enable glitch disable and finally i have like these effects it's absolutely not necessary it's absolutely up to you but if you like it why not okay and uh, magic bullet looks I use classic blockbuster okay without this like this but I more like here and 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 when my uh, objects start falling down I add one sounds but make copy paste and little bit change uh, time scale yeah little bit drag and change here okay that's all my video is done we can check one more time this video what we have finally Three, two, 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 two.
So, if you like my video, if you like my tutorial, so please subscribe, uh, share to your friends, and goodbye. See you next time.